driving rain and with HMS Invincible forming a bit of a shield, the riders and ball sports team are on their way. Almost halfway of the one mile run and it's the white shirts are the ball sports team, the black are the riders. Every competitor has to run, including the two lady competitors and they will be critical. The two lady competitors here in white, Anne Hobbs, Annabel Croft doing well in the middle of the pack. Scoring as in cross country. And here's Andy Ruffle and Malcolm Elliott, two black vests up. And uh, pretty near with them is Steve Joachim, so the cyclists are doing well. In the middle of the pack, Des Drummond, Gordon Greenwich, and Big Jeff Squire, all 16 stones of him. And the girls are going to give him a hard time. Anne Hobbs, brilliant quarter miler, coming up well. And uh, Mr. Smith there being overtaken by Annabelle Croft. Driving rain. But uh, there's a good deal of team spirit about and uh, one or two of the better runners looking back to nurse their competitors. There's a break at the front and this is uh, a good run by Malcolm Elliott. He's getting away from Sean Curley and Andy Ruffle. He's going for the line and again the cyclist doing exceptionally well. Malcolm Elliott, a former Commonwealth champion and then a professional road race champion, sprinting superbly for the line and getting the first black vest home. Then the battle for second place. It's Sean Curley, I'm sure, holding off Andy Ruffle. But that's a good run by Malcolm Elliott. There it is, up to the line, Sean Curley second. And it looks like uh, behind this little guy, yes, it's Steve Jockin, so the cyclists have done exceptionally well. Now, Ann Hobbs has beaten a lot of the men. Ann Hobbs sprinting well. I wonder if Annabelle Croft is near her. Certainly the two white vests for the girls, as Ian Taylor. They're ahead of the black vests, and now it's a question of counting. How many black vests against how many white vests? Anne Hobbs, home, I think about eighth place. And Annabelle Croft has done so well too, nursed by Anne Hobbs for most of the race. There's Jeff Squire, another white vest home. Still a few black ones, and this is the last of the whites, and that's going to make all the difference. Gordon Greenwich is home, but four black vests behind him. The judges now totting up the scores as the last of the runners come in, Virginia Holgate. But there's no doubt about the individual winner, a brilliant run for Malcolm Elliott. Well, I felt good, I hope. I, I just wanted to go for it. and um, It's the first race I've uh, been in since I was at a games lesson at school. Really? But, uh, <laughs> I just uh, I thought a mile around there would suit me. I, I, went, I went for it today. <laughs> what a big smiling coach here. Andy Ruffle's got a big smile because Andy, yeah. that wasn't bad at all, was it? Yeah, not too bad. I think uh, perhaps I should have done games at school, you know, yeah. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, I went well. I'm not a fantastic runner, but I'm very pleased. It was good. I enjoyed it. It's just a bit wet as well. Yeah, a few ways. Yeah. So you, don't, you don't think about them when you're running. Yeah. So, in fact, somebody's just totted it all up. And, in fact, the ball sports have won it on the aggregate score. So the ball sports have beaten the riders, despite that tremendous run at the top. So uh, that's not basically every position counted in the end. And I think you won it for them. Well, I think it's a team event. Definitely. The lads did well, too. Oh, I was going to say get dry, but you stand no chance in this. Well done. Thanks. So it's confirmed that the ball sports team have got the first five points. They did win the mile by virtue of the, the better packing of the team over that long distance. Came as a bit of a surprise to the riders, but uh, they get two and the ball sports get five. 